ஹலோ குட் மார்னிங் அவர் ஃபஸ்ட் இஷ்யூ இஸ் ஃபாரின் மெலிட்டன்ஸ் இன் நார்த் காஷ்மீர் இன் தி காஷ்மீர் வேலி ரீஜன் அவுட் ஆஃப் நார்த் அண்ட் சவுத் காஷ்மீர் சவுத் காஷ்மீர் இஸ் தி ரீஜன் விச் ஜென்ரலி சீஸ் தி மோர் நம்பர் ஆஃப் மெலிட்டன்ஸ் பட் திஸ் டைம் அக்கார்டிங் டு தி இன்டெலிஜென்ட் சோர்சஸ் நார்த் காஷ்மீர் ஹேஸ் மோர் ஃபாரின் மெலிட்டன்ஸ் தேன் தி லோக்கல் மெலிட்டன்ஸ் நார்த் காஷ்மீர் கம்ப்ரைசஸ் ஆஃப் பாராமுல்லா பண்டிபுரா அண்ட் குப்வாரா டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட்ஸ் this is a changing trend according to the official sources this changing trend is not just because of what is happening in afghanistan but since past few months this trend has been observed in this context neutralizing these terror groups is very important for the security and law and order next issue is nipah virus cases in kerala nipah virus disease is a zoonotic disease that means it transmits from animals to humans and it can also be passed on through contaminated food or directly from person to person fruit bats are considered to be natural reservoirs of this virus from fruit bats it spreads to humans and then from one human to another human it can spread through bodily fluids or contaminated food so symptoms of this particular nipah virus disease includes acute encephalitis and respiratory illness recently in kerala there was a death reported due to nipah virus disease in this context it has contacted indian medical council association indian medical council research that is icmr to procure monoclonal antibodies important term monoclonal antibodies treatment is used for various kinds of viral and other diseases so this monoclonal antibodies for nipah virus would be procured from australia and this will be supplied to kerala for the treatment of nipah patients next issue is paralympics 19 medals overall 19 medals out of them 5 gold medals 8 silver medals and 6 bronze medals were won in the paralympics of recent tokyo olympics tokyo paralympics in this context india needs to develop infrastructure and it has to improve the access for the differently abled athletes see if we observe this is the highest medal tally that we have that we have had since our participation in the paralympics there are many social physical psychological issues that the disabled or differently abled people face this can be considered a greatest achievement and great example for the human endurance and human capacity and we have to understand here that everyone has the capability we just have to identify and use it next issue is ladakh resident certificate order 2021 ladakh administration has decided to issue resident certificates only to the permanent resident certificate holders of the region these will be allowed to hold the public office land etc but jammu and kashmir union territory for that domicile certif- according to domicile certification rules different categories of non locals including non local government employees can resident can register for domicile certificates that means in ladakh only the permanent residents of that place are eligible to participate in various things using this permanent certificate permanent resident certificate but in jammu and kashmir this provision has been diluted next issue is india russia logistics agreement india and russia are at uh, are at the final stages of finalizing this bilateral logistics agreement which is officially known as reciprocal exchange of logistics agreement relos and we are also finalizing the agreement with uk united kingdom logistics what do we mean by logistics agreement our ships submarines etc they can go for refueling and repairs in in the, in the countries with which we have the logistics agreement it improves the operational turn around at inc- and it increases the interoperability on the high seas india has already signed logistics agreement with all the quad countries last year we signed an agreement with japan before that we signed agreement with australia before that with usa and we also have logistics agreements with france singapore and south korea with usa lemova is the logistics agreement logistics exchange memorandum of agreement is the logistics agreement that we signed next issue is china taiwan conflict 19 military planes of china 
flew into air defense identification zone of Taiwan. China claimed Taiwan has complained that in the last one or more years, China is repetitively coming near the Taiwan and it is crossing the air defense zone near the Taiwan controlled Pratas Islands. Between China and Taiwan, we have Taiwan Strait, which is also known as Formosa Strait. So this is most controversial one because earlier Taiwan and USA had conducted joint military drills in this particular area, which China opposes. Next issue is UAE's economic reforms. Out of all the Gulf countries, UAE has different policies as compared to others such as Saudi Arabia, etc. Other countries, they are going for protectionism, protectionist measures, but UAE is opening its economy. UAE marking its 50th anniversary is seeking to accelerate its economic as well as social reforms in the post-pandemic scenario. And it is portraying this country as the liberal, bursting trade and financial hub. It is planning to garner $13 billion of foreign investment and $150 billion by 2030. And specific projects are yet to be announced, but they said this is the target. This is the FDI target. So in this context, it is also rolling out green visas for the skilled workers. It is inviting skilled workers from many countries and it is allowing them to have more time to find the jobs also. This, that means UAE is modernizing its society and economy and it is in contrast with the other countries in the Gulf region. Next, let us understand the editorials. First one is revitalizing India's caste reservation system. Reservations in political and public sphere, public institutions, educational institutions, these are provided as an affirmative action. These have enabled the vulnerable sections to find place in power sharing and decision making in the governance process. But then the vulnerabilities still exist. Equalization of life chances are less comparatively. Recently, there is a committee known as Justice G. Rohini Committee. committee. This committee is appointed on, on subcategorization of OBCs. OBC is not a one single category. So that's why government wants to subcategorize. According to this particular report, among the OBCs, considering last five years data, only 95% of central OBC quota Benefits go to only 25% of subcasts in uh, OBCs. As many as 983 OBC communities, they don't have any representation in central government jobs or admissions in the central universities. And similarly, 10% of OBC communities, they have accrued 24% of total government jobs and admissions. In this context, we, we need to have context-sensitive, evidence-based policy options for reservations. Establishment of institutions like Equal Opportunities Commission in the lines of USA or UK, these needs to be established. For that, a socio-economic caste-based census delineating various castes in India, which, is not, which should not be for political divisions, but for policy making is meaningful and is important. Otherwise, there is a problem called as differentiation within a caste only few sections are getting developed, others are not. So others are becoming more, much more backward at the, uh, and few, few people are garnering the benefits. This can be addressed if we have subcategorization and if we have detailed caste census. Next issue is NMP, infrastructural deficit. Recently, government has proposed national monetization pipeline. Mon this is for monetization of public assets. And NMP should consider the volume of funds it expects to be generated. According to it, in the next four years, it's only 4 lakh crores. But overall, if you see the targets of the government, it's only 10% higher than the budgeted capital expenditure of the government. And under National Infrastructure Pipeline, 100 lakh crore is the estimated investment that India needs. But this provides only 6 lakh crore rupees. That means we are undervaluating our public assets. That is the conclusion over here. That is dangerous because otherwise monopolization, other things, this can be addressed through proper regulation. But this value undervaluation is the important thing that needs to be reconsidered. 
Next issue is the role of judiciary in lawmaking. Parliament and its functioning has been questioned recently. Rushed laws, lawmaking has been rushed without consulting the parliamentary standing committees. Parliament has become a rubber stamp now. And core ideals of constitutional democracy, that is equal participation, respect for fundamental rights, these are under threat. In this context, judiciary can play an important role in improvising the lawmaking through its judicial review. But judicial review, judicial activism, they are fine. But crossing the line and going for judicial overreach and judicial overactivism is not good for the democracy. Judicial review, judicial activism is needed considering the functioning of the parliament. Next issue is GDP and it is high, 20% is the growth rate that is projected. It is high because of the low base, because of the low base that means GDP numbers are published on quarterly basis and yearly basis based on the past, uh, that is past last year's quarter one will be compared with this year's quarter one. So that's how point to point calculation is done. In that the base is low. That is why our GDP growth overall is appearing as 20%. This effect is known as base effect. These are the articles for today. Sunday's paper would be uploaded today. Thank you very much. All the very best.